they were just busting. Oh, oh my God, I'm right in them. I'm right in them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, tight. That's another Albie. Oh my God, I'm in a football field of them. All right, super quick before this video gets started. Uh, on the Water just dropped a podcast yesterday on their YouTube page. Uh, me and Dustin Stevens, Dustin founded Rhode Island Kayak Fishing Adventures, which is the charter company I work for. And you've probably seen him in a couple of my videos. Um, we went on for a podcast with On the Water. And like I said, they just dropped on the YouTube page. I'm also pretty sure it streams on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the other platforms you get your podcasts on. Uh, we just talked kayak fishing, shore fishing, guiding, and just Rhode Island fishing in general. So if you got some time to kill, you're come driving back from work and want to listen to a podcast, check it out on On the Water's YouTube page. If you just type in On the Water Podcast, you should see us pop up. So yeah. Hope you guys give that a listen and thanks for watching. Check this out, man. We got a gorgeous, gorgeous October morning. It doesn't get much better than this. But yeah, I'm gonna do a lazy intro because I'm still half asleep here. Really chasing after surface activity. So Albie Stripers Bluefish is the name of the game. It's super calm today. So I should be able to see, you know, fish splashing bait on the surface stuff like that so I'm hoping as the Sun comes up these fish are gonna wake up and uh, it's gonna be a pretty epic day we'll see I got bait right here that just uh, kind of jumped out of the water I think this is gonna be a really fishy morning I just have a feeling man just like that I got fish splashing to my left Pretty much right in front of me. I'd, right in front of me, I just saw some fish splash. Couldn't really tell what it was. Oh yeah, right there, right there, right there. Oh my God, they're albies. They're just getting airborne. There's albies getting airborne right now in front of me. That was insane. Oh, I'm tight. There we go. My first cast, dude, on an Albi. He's swimming right at me. Holy crap, dude. Let's go, baby. <laughs> dude, that was awesome. I saw them go airborne in front of me. That's a great way to start a morning right there, man. Oh, I think I just, oh, I just popped them. God, that sucks. All right, so my first cast, tight with an Albi. Get her pretty close to the kayak and pop the hook, whatever. It happens. So now, this is right around where they popped. I have a feeling it's gonna be like every 30 or 40 minutes. <clears throat> you're gonna see uh, little pods pop up and you'll have like a 10 second window of casting into them. But I'm hoping I can get some on the blind cast too. So I'm just gonna fire a bunch of casts today. Cause these fish, who knows how long they're actually gonna be around for starting to get a little later in the season they're kind of like they're one day gone the next so since they're here today I'm gonna fish pretty hard for them and it's so calm out here that if I hear any splashes on the surface should be able to hear it for quite a distance super quick feeds oh my god right to my left right to my left why did I just cast that was a horrible time to cast They were just on my left. Sneaky, sneaky fish. I cast one direction. They show up very nice to me. Interesting. Glad it happened on a blind cat. Oh, right there, yep. Right in front of me. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Oh, don't tell me they're getting picky on me. There they are, right in front of me. That's pretty much right in them, dude. Come on, come on, come on. That's right in them. Come on, dude. They are being picky today, man. That was right in them. Could not have been a better cast. All right, well, this ended up being a pretty frustrating Albi trip. I had small pods of fish jump around me like every 20 or 30 minutes or so, kind of as you've seen in the video. They were just extremely picky. Um, I've had this issue in the past when the water is super clear and super glass like that. These Albies can be really, really finicky, and they were today. Um, this is a situation where you definitely want to downsize to like a casting egg or fly or something like that. And I just, I didn't have it with me. So I got lucky with that first fish in the morning, ended up popping the hook, and then I could not get these fish to hit again. So I'm going to take you to a next clip from a few days later where it's the polar opposite. I caught like eight or nine Albies on this trip. So uh, we'll end the trip with a little more action. Got Albies busting right in front of me. I just caught one off camera. Come on, show again, show again, show again. Show back up. They were just busting. Oh, oh my God, I'm right in them. I'm right in them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, tight. That's another Albie. Oh my God, I'm in a football field of them. <laughs> and now, we hope you enjoy this heartwarming moment of blitzing false albacore. This guy's swimming like crazy. This is one of the weirdest Albi fights. I'm in a football field of Albies. Holy crap. Holy mackerel, dude. This is sick. The picky striper bite turned into an Albi feed. Oh, he's, no, he's still here. down there. Should probably get my drive out. There he is, I see color. Awesome. Love these fish. Love these fish. This is my uh, second one. I caught the first one off camera and then uh, they started busting again right next to me so I just started rolling. Oh, that's such a cool fish, man. Such a cool fish. A little smaller than the first one I caught. The first one I caught was pretty good size. Actually, this one's not terrible either. What's up? Number two. Let's go, baby. Two for two on the morning. Hooked him pretty perfectly. Number two, a little smaller than the first one, which you guys didn't see, but still a nice little healthy football. There he goes. I'm watching Albies go insane to my right as I'm hooked up to an Albie. Look at that feed. 